Minecraft Live 2022 has concluded and as per usual we were treated to the upcoming Minecraft related content. We got to see in-game footage from Minecraft Legends as well as the glorious cinematic intro to the game itself. Minecraft Dungeons announced the release date and contents of its third season and also revealed a demo for the Dungeons Tower feature in multiplayer mode. But most of you are likely here for the 1.20 update which we will get to shortly. First of all let's talk about the mob vote. The choice was between the sniffer that would come with ancient seeds and a new plant type, the rascal which will give you a prize if you play a game of hide and seek with it in a mineshaft, and the tough golem which can pick up items and then display them in its statue form. This year it was possible to vote through the game itself and there was a server that you could log into full of secrets and mini games, awesome details and things to interact with. But it's probably no surprise to many of you that the sniffer won with over half of the 3 million plus votes that were cast for this mob. So the sniffer is going to be the one that makes it into this update. Now you might be wondering what is this update all about, on the thumbnail it says the unnamed update and that's because it currently doesn't have a name. This is because Mojang is taking a different approach to this development cycle, learning from previous lessons where they showed off concept art and were unable to deliver on their promises, what we're going to see in the reveal today is what will actually be in the final update of 1.20 because we have announced some features that we didn't manage to deliver and it's important that we learn from that and that we take action from that. So for example this year we will only show features that have come very very far in the development process. So who knows what else is planned for this update they could have other things in the works that they're just not comfortable with showing in case they don't pan out so what we're seeing today isn't a full representation of what 1.20 will be. And if that sounds a little underwhelming, well there's some really good news which is that the snapshots, betas and previews are going to be coming out in literally a few days. So a great reason to subscribe to this channel because I have a history of covering all of these updates. So in a few days you'll get a video from me covering some of these new features when we can get our hands on them in the game. And as for the name of this update, they want to work with the community to figure out what that's going to be and they plan on releasing it next year in 2023. This update however does have a theme and that theme is one of self-expression. There are new signs, new features for books and also new avatars or key things around being able to express yourself. As you'll see there is this amazing animation introducing seven new player avatars which have actually been in previous trailers for the games and they're now going to be selectable characters by default like Steve and Alex are. Their names will be as follows, McKenna, Ify, Noor, Kai, Ari, Sunny and Zuri. So now we move on to the first of four features that are going to be in this update. The first is the hanging sign. It is a new block type that is made from chains and stripped wood. When combining these together you get a new type of sign that has three different states. It can hang from the side of a block, it can also hang down from the top and it can hang from the top of a narrow block and have these diagonal chains too which look cool. The idea behind these new signs is it gives the player more ways to put their stories into the world. Of course we love to leave information on signs for other players or just to remind us the lore of our world but now we've got some new block shapes to do that with and there's going to be many creative uses of this. One of which they showed us in the stream which was to hang these across the top of a street and it kind of looks like a whole bunch of flags hanging down. Now onto our next feature, it's the bamboo wood set. As we've seen with the other woods in this game, it comes with all of the regular variants. You know, fence gates, trap doors, fence posts, half slabs and stairs. And this one has a similar tone to birch but a different texture. And it's also going to come with its own unique type of block, which will be the bamboo mosaic block. In the presentation they showed examples of it being mixed in with other blocks to demonstrate its versatility. It will also be craftable into a boat of sorts. Instead of being a boat and a boat shape it is now going to be the bamboo raft which looks really cool. It can indeed support two players sitting on a raft. It will support a chest as well. Essentially it's going to function like a normal boat but it will just have a different model and a different look to it. And I really like the approach for adding this in rather than making it like every other type of wood and just changing the color and tone they've given this one way more personality and I think players are really going to have a lot of fun building with these bamboo blocks. 
Next up we have the chiseled bookshelf. It is a functional bookshelf you can interact with as the player. It's not going to have a UI but you're going to be able to put books inside of it. So it has an empty state and then you can put between one to six books into the bookshelf. These can be of any type like a regular book, book and quill or an enchanted book. So this means you can customize the look of it in seven different states, but those different states will also interact with a comparator and output a different signal strength based on how many books are in the bookshelf. And of course with redstone, you can hook it up to some pistons and create some sort of secret entrance or do whatever you like. Now I think this one's going to fit into the game really easily for one reason, which is this is probably one of the most common suggestions I've ever heard. People look at bookshelves and they think, wouldn't it be cool if it actually stored books? And wouldn't it be even cooler if I was able to change the texture of the bookshelf by the amount of books in it? That's a very common suggestion and idea that goes around the community, and it's nice to see it finally coming into the game. And the new texture also looks pretty good next to the old one too, because of course this is a new block alongside the original bookshelves. Next up we have the camel, a new passive mob for the player to interact with and it lives in desert villages. It has some seriously cute animations but it's also rideable by two players at a time and you may be thinking this is rather similar to having a horse. Well the camel has different movement style and different abilities too. It can dash creating a sharp jump forward in speed and the fact that it can support two players I think is going to be great for creating mini games where someone's on the back shooting at target blocks or interacting with redstone and the other player is navigating with the camel. The camel is also going to be breedable by cactus. It's nice to see an old block getting a new use and that's what cactus will do. This means that we're going to have baby camels as well. The camel is also not going to have an inventory and they don't spit like llamas do. I think camels have a reputation for spitting in real life but that's something they won't do in the game. And so now we reach that point in the video where I've expressed most of the details we learned at this event. However, I am left with some more to show you. This is some leftover footage that didn't quite make the edit for the camel. There's also a screenshot of the bookshelves and a screenshot of the bamboo wood that I will show you too. So you get to see everything that we saw at this event. You've also probably got a question in mind, which was the sniffer that you saw earlier in the video. That was actually a fan made add on pack for bedrock. So I'll provide a link to that in the description box down below if you want to see it for yourself. So how about those screenshots? Well if you look at the walls here it shows off the side texture of the new bookshelf but also on the floor you can see the top and bottom texture of that block too. Then there's also this build that combines the mangrove wood and the bamboo wood and that looks like a killer combination to me. And now I have a quick question to ask all of you. Were you disappointed that this update didn't address any of Minecraft's inventory issues? Well here's a bit of shameless self-promotion, I've started a new playlist. It's called Minecraft Discussions and we discussed an answer to Minecraft's inventory issues. So if you want to see the proposed solution I came up with, please do check out that playlist, it will be linked in the description box below. And apparently we're due to learn more about this update in the next Minecraft Now, which is October the 27th. So probably another great reason to subscribe as I'll be covering it. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like and I'll see you soon with a snapshot or a preview I hope. Bye-bye. <laughs>